a new report in the New York Times details the many ways that Harvey Weinstein's complicity machine allowed him to command enablers, silencers, and spies to keep his secrets about allegedly mistreating women and to court influential people in media and politics to burnish his image and help him stay in power. Those influential people include Hillary and Bill Clinton, as well as David J. Pecker, the chief executive at American Media Incorporated, which owns the National Enquirer. Pecker is also good friends with President Donald Trump, and both Weinstein and Trump were known in the tabloid industry as untouchable FOPs, the Times said. That is, friends of Pecker. The disgraced movie mogul has been accused by 83 actresses and other women of various forms of mistreatment, from harassment to rape, USA Today said. The allegations go back decades, with some accounts generating interest by police in Los Angeles, New York City, and London. Weinstein has consistently said that none of his encounters with women involved non-consensual sex. The Times, which first reported on allegations against Weinstein on October 5, published a new report Wednesday describing the Weinstein complicity machine that allowed him to get away with so much for so long. Some aided his actions without realizing what he was doing, the Times said. Many knew something or detected hints, though few understood the scale of his sexual misconduct. Almost everyone had incentives to look the other way or remain silent. The report said these enablers included executives at his own company and top agents and managers across Hollywood who sent actresses to meet him alone at hotels and advised them to stay quiet when things went wrong. One of those actresses was Gwyneth Paltrow who told The Times that she rebuffed Weinstein's advances when she was an up-and-coming young actresses. Since the Weinstein scandal broke, she has learned that Weinstein boasted that he had sex with her. In trying to coerce other women to have sex with him, Weinstein used Paltrow's Academy Award-winning First Lady of Miramax prestige as proof to that he could advance careers. Meanwhile, among those who many not have known about Weinstein's alleged misconduct is Hillary Clinton, even though her presidential campaigns reportedly received warnings about him in 2008 and 2016 from loyal supporters, magazine editor Tina Brown and actress Lena Dunham. Weinstein had long been a generous donor to Hillary and Bill Clinton. He donated $10,000 to Bill Clinton's legal defense fund after he was impeached in the Monica Lewinsky scandal and he served as a fundraiser and informal advisor during Hillary Clinton's 2000 Senate campaign. He also was an early backer of her presidential bids. Weinstein's political activities, which included consistent support to former President Barack Obama, boosted his image as a man with friends in high places and close ties to the country's leading female politician, The Times said. While Dunham told The Times that she remains loyal to Hillary Clinton, she also said she was troubled by the producer's visible presence during Clinton's 2016 presidential run which ran on a pro-woman, feminist platform. Dunham said she had heard some of the stories others had heard about Weinstein.